Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kinetic Tutoring episode. Today we're taking a look at problem 5 of the 2024 AP Calc BC exam. So let's just get straight into it. Uh, the function f is twice differentiable for all x with f of 0 being equal to 0. Values of f prime, the derivative of f, are given in the table for the selected values of x. For when x is greater than or equal to 0, the function h is defined by h of x is equal to the derivative from 0 to x, or sorry, rather the integral from 0 to x of square root 1 plus f prime of t squared. Find the value of h prime of pi. All right. So, um, in order for us to find the h prime, um, we know that h prime of x is just going we are going to have to take the derivative from both sides. So um, in order to do that, we must use the fundamental theorem of calculus. And we swap this variable in for the t. So we'll just get it, we're just and get rid of the integral sign. So we'll get square root one plus f prime of x squared evaluated from zero to pi. All right, and since we got rid of the integral, we're just plugging in the point pi. So we get square root one plus f prime of pi. As we can see here, f prime of pi is six. So we get six squared, which will give you 36. And we end up with a square root of 37. So now let's take a look at part B. What information does the integral from 0 to pi of the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx provide about the graph f? So this is a formula that you're going to want to remember because this formula is the arc length formula. So this formula, this integral gives you the arc length of the function f. Arc length. On the actual AP test, you would want to write this out a little bit more um, in depth than I did, but you just have to write this formula. This integral gives the uh, arc length of the function f of x on the interval from 0 to pi. Now let's go to part C. Using Euler's method, start at x is equal to 0 with st two steps of equal size to approximate f of 2 pi show the computations that led to your answer all right so Euler's method um, just states that in order to find f of x you have to do f prime of x times dx and so we have two steps here this is the first step and this is the second step so um, in this case, dx is going to be pi because that's how much d pi is changing. So in our first step, f prime of x is going to be 5, as shown here. So we get 5 times pi. And then we get another step of pi. And this time it's 6. So we get plus 6 times pi is equal to 11 pi. So there you have it. That's what f of 2 pi is going to be. It's going to be approximately 11 pi. And part d tells us to find the integral. To evaluate the integral of t plus 5 cosine of t over 4 dt. And for this question, we're going to have to use integration by parts where we set t plus 5 as our u and cosine of t over 4 dt as our dv. The derivative of this is going to give you just dt. And when we integrate both sides, you get that v is equal to 4 sine t over 4. So here, there you have that. 
So then you multiply these two together, t plus 5 war sine t over 4 minus the integral of v du, which is the integral of 4 sine t over 4 dt. The integral of sine of t over 4 dt is going to be um, 4 cosine 4 cosine negative 4 cosine t over 4. When we multiply the neg two negative 4s, we get 16 cosine t over 4. So we get 16 cosine t over 4. Add that to the first part of our answer, which is t plus 5. 4 sine t over 4 plus this and don't forget to add your plus c as well and there you go there is your answer for that integral and that's that's all guys that's how you go about solving the four parts of that problem if you learned something make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any further comments questions or concerns Leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, that's all I have, and I'll see you guys next time.